studying the ancient work of Matthew God's spiritual school where we love studying about the Old Testament. It is so very powerful, isn't it, Brother Harry? That is correct, Joe. It is very powerful. The majority of the Bible is Old Testament, and so we just want to teach you, boys and girls and parents, about the Old Testament so that you can have a better understanding about the New Testament. All right, we have an exciting story. Oh, 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 I know what it is, Freddy. I know what it is. What is it, Joe? It's about Jonah. Jonah, Jonah, let's get started. Let's count in. One, two, three, hit it. so good we are here we are here yay i'm excited i'm excited all right now let me ask you this where is the story of jonah found is it in the old testament or the new testament if you said the old testament correct yay, yay. okay let's get with the story now Go ahead, I'm excited. It is taken from the book of Jonah in the Old Testament. Now, what happened is Jonah is running away from God. Nope, he think he's running away, brother here, but you cannot hide, you cannot run away from God. He sees everything. That is correct. He sees everything, so let's do things pleasing to him. Go ahead, brother here. That is correct, Joe. He sees everything. Let's Continue with the story. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its wickedness has come before me. But you know, Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish, T-A-R-S-H-I-S-H. -S -S and what he did, he went down to Joppa first where he found a ship that was sailing there, and he was paying his fare. And after he paid his fare, he got on board to sail to flee from the Lord. What, Brady Huey? Did you just see that? He took God's money because God blesses us with everything. The money that we have, the homes that we have, the cars that we have, and now he's taking that money and running away from the Lord. Okay, Brother Harry, go ahead. Let's continue with the story. So, as he boarded the ship to sail to Tarshish, the Lord sent a great wind on the sea. Such a violent storm arose that the ship threatened to break apart. All the soldiers were afraid, and each cried out to his own God and they threw cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. Well, did you see that? That's very important there because they cried out to their God and it's spelled in the Bible, lowercase g-o-d. That is not the God of the Bible. The Bible says in Ephesians 4 and 4, there's one God. And so they're crying out to their God, which is not the God. That is a very important. All right, thank you, Joe, for pointing that out. Praise God, Brother Henry. But Jonah had gone below deck where he was laying down and he fell into a deep sleep. The captain went into it and said, how can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he will take notice of us so that we will not die, that we will not perish. Brother Henry is, they um, say, call on, um, Jonah's got, and they wrote it, um, it's written there, it's lowercase g-o-d, too. That's very important, because we'll tell you later. That is correct, Joe. It is very important. And so, now, the sailors said to each other, come on and let us cast lots to find out who is responsible for this this mess that we are in. So they cast lots. Brother Harry, what's lots? What's lots? What's lots, Brother Harry? Oh, lots are kind of like, we have like dice that we rolled today. And some say that it was like they pulled a straw 
and kind of like the short straw or something or the biggest straw. Some people even say that they use colored stones to cast lots. So it's something like that to see who the guilty person is. Thank you, Brother Henry. Okay, let's see what they did. Well, when they cast lots, the lots fell on the jump. So they asked him, tell us who is responsible for making all this trouble. What kind of work do you do? Where do you come from? What is your country? From what people are you? This is what Jonah said. I am a Hebrew. I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. This right, God made the sea and the dry land. He made everything. He knows about everything. Now let's see what happens next. This terrified them, and they asked, why have you done this to us? The sea was getting rougher and rougher, so they asked him, What should we do to make the sea calm down for us? Jonah replied and said, Pick me up and throw me into the sea, and it will be calm. I know that this is my fault, and this great storm has come upon us. The men did their best to row back to the land, but they could not, for the sea even wilder and stronger than before. Well, did you see that? They're not listening, they're not listening. They think that they can um, do things their way. And boys and girls, don't think that you can do your things your way and get away with it with God. No, no, parents, the same thing. You cannot do things your way and get away with it. It comes with a price. So let's listen to God. We know we're not always gonna listen. We're gonna make mistakes, but God is so loving. He, he will help us. He'll, he'll give us another chance. And, and that's what he's gonna do with these guys. That is so true. All right, let's continue to read. The men did their best to row back to land, but they could not. They cried out to the Lord. Please, Lord, do not let us die for taking this man's life. Do not hold us accountable for killing an innocent man, for you, Lord, have done all as you please. Wait, why they call him an innocent man? He's guilty. He's guilty. He's running away from the Lord. Well, Joe, there's one major thing about, about um, God, and that's about love. That's right, he loved Jonah. That's why he was there helping him to get back on track. The Lord will help us get back on track. We just got to trust his help and listen to his voice by reading his word. Not only that, he cares for the sailors. God loves the sailors just like he loves us, just like he loves Jonah. Yeah, that is correct, Joe. That is so correct. Okay, let's continue. Then they took Jonah and threw him overboard and the raging sea. The raging sea got calm. It got calm, boys and girls. Why did it get calm? Because they're, they were being obedient to the Lord. They were being obedient to the Lord. And you want peace inside of your life? You want calmness inside of your life? It comes from being, being at peace with God. Yes. Yes, yes. All right, let's see what happens next. Okay, then at this time, the men greatly feared the Lord and they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made a vow to him. They became believers. Now when you read uh, in the verses, it's capital L-O-R-D, Lord, because remember it was lowercase. Now they believe in the one and true God like we believe. That's why they say, please, Lord, L-O-R-D. And then it says, Lord, you, we have done as you please. Then he says, at this, the men greatly feared the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice to the Lord. Yay, boys and girls. That's it. That's the Lord that we serve. And you want to be proud of who you are. If you're a believer in Jesus and you're a Christian, that's what you tell 
people. When you go to school and they are trying to tell you things differently about accepting certain things, you say no, just like Jonah did. When they asked him who he was, he stood up and he told them who he was. Jonah said, I am a Hebrew. I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. This way, boys and girls, and so you remember, you are a Christian. You worship and live for the Lord, the God of heaven, who made everything, everything. That's right. All right, Brother Harry, close us out with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so very much for blessing us with this wonderful time that we can um, worship you and that we can share your love with boys and girls and their parents around the world and help us to know it's so very important to listen to you. If we want peace and calmness in our lives, we need to listen to you. Thank you so much. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. We love you, but remember, God loves you more.